you guys, it's Nassim here. Now, after using the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra for about a week now, the one thing that kept coming to my mind while I was using it on a day-to-day -day basis was this one simple statement that I feel wraps up the S22 Ultra as a whole. And that statement is, I think that the Galaxy S22 Ultra is the safest Android that you can get in 2022. And I say this because when you think about it, the Galaxy S22 Ultra is the perfect Android phone that shuts down every problem people will usually have with any other phone. Most people want a top tier camera system. The S22 Ultra has that. Most people want an amazing software that works perfectly fine with little to no bugs. The S22 Ultra has that. Most people want a phone that has a really great battery that can be able to last you all day with no problem. The S22 has that. And most people want unique quirks and features that work really well and make your experience interesting. And again, the S22 Ultra has that. And I think that the S22 Ultra is the best phone to get if you're going to spend over a thousand bucks. Because if I'm being honest, when it comes to this phone, you really do get what you pay for. I also loved how Samsung made the S22 Ultra even more interesting by adding the Bluetooth S Pen and giving it the same frame as the Galaxy Note. Because now, you don't have to choose or wait for a new Note. All the options are in this phone. And that's why I think that the Galaxy S22 Ultra is the safest and best phone that you can get this year. You don't have to question it or you don't have to have any doubts because you know at the end of the day, it will be a great phone. And now that we've come to the conclusion of the Galaxy S22 Ultra as a whole, I wanted to show you guys what I loved about it after using it for a week. Now, the first thing that I loved about my Galaxy S22 Ultra after using it for a week was the amazing display. Now the S22 Ultra has a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED two times display that I must admit is the best performance screen that I have ever seen on a smartphone since its release. And not only did this screen look amazing, it also performed amazing since it also supports a 120 hertz refresh rate, making the software feel much smoother. Like right here, you can see me scrolling through the interface and you can just tell how smooth and fast it feels thanks to the very high specs within the screen. I also love the fact that it had an amazing response in the haptics. Like right here, you can see just how sharp it is. And this is important because whenever you're using your phone, you want it to be as fast and smooth as possible and not have a laggy response whenever you press on something. I also love the fact that the screen had up to 1,750 nits worth of peak brightness because whenever I was outside or at work and the sun was out, all I had to do was turn my brightness up and no matter how bright it was outside, I was able to see really well. And the last thing that I loved about my display is that whenever I was watching videos, playing games, scrolling on the internet, or scrolling through the interface, the quality of the picture was always amazing. The colors were vibrant, but not to the point where they're too unreal. The sharpness was really good, which really improved the resolution. And the big screen made the whole visual experience that much more appealing. And to show you guys what I mean, here are some examples of me playing games and watching videos to give you an idea of how great the screen looks. So I started to play Jetpack Joyride and even catch up on some YouTube vids that I missed out on. Now the next thing that I loved about my Galaxy S22 after using it for a week was the pretty amazing battery. Now I'm the type of person who uses my phone a lot, so I will be clocking in around three to five hours of on-screen time a day, and I will usually end my day with about 40% battery left, which was enough to last me into the night. And whenever I use my phone, the main things I do is scroll through social media, watch YouTube, play games, and script some videos. So I think that it held up really well while also being able to do everything that I wanted to do with it. But one thing that I will let you guys know is that sometimes out of my day, I will put my display to 60 hertz just to make sure I could preserve that extra battery life. So if you use some of Galaxy's battery saving features, you will 100% be able to use this phone all day. Now, the last thing that I love about the battery on the Galaxy S22 Ultra is the fact that it also supports 45 watt fast charging. So not only will I be able to last all day with the phone, but if there was ever a situation where I needed a quick charge, all I had to do was charge it for under an hour and get 100% charge. And there were things like that that really made me appreciate the S22 Ultra as a safer option because it had everything that I needed while also being very practical in everyday life. Now, the next thing that I loved about my Galaxy now, the next thing that I loved about my Galaxy S22 Ultra after using it for a week was the Bluetooth S Pen. Now, the Bluetooth S Pen was easily one of my favorite things that I had ever had on any smartphone. I loved how Samsung was able to not only add many different features to the S Pen, 
but also how practical they were able to make it so that you could actually use the S Pen every day. Like right here, you can see that when I take my S Pen out of my phone, I'm able to go to different apps, send messages, etc. But one of my favorite things that I loved about my S Pen is the fact that it really improved my note taking. Like whenever I worked a job and wanted to keep track, I would write it down. Whenever I was on my phone and someone told me something that I want to remember, I would write it down. And whenever I noticed something about a phone that I was reviewing and needed to keep it in my mind, I will write it down. And there were many other ways that the S Pen was able to help me out in my everyday life. Also, whenever I was on my break at lunch, I will be watching a YouTube video while I ate. And if I wanted to change the video, I will wave my hand to the left or right. And whenever I wanted to change the volume, all I had to do was wave my hand down to put the volume down and wave it up to put the volume up. And again, this is why I really love the Bluetooth S Pen because Samsung made it so practical to the point where I had no option but to use it in my everyday life. Now, the final thing that I loved about my Galaxy S22 Ultra after using it for a week was the pretty amazing cameras. And I think that the S22 Ultra along with the iPhone 13 Pro were the first cameras where I would say I had no major complaints when it came to taking photos. Like right here, you can see my outside daytime photos and I would say that they were really great pictures that I was confident in sharing with you guys. The skies were very vibrant yet color accurate. The trees and other aspects of nature were very sharp. My face looked pretty color accurate, especially compared to last year's version where it will look a little light at times and the overall vibrancy of the outside pictures were great to no surprise. Now, when we look at the inside daytime photos, I would say that these were also really great. Like right here, you can see that there was no graininess no matter how dark it got and my selfies were top notch when compared to other smartphones. Next up, when we look at the outside daytime photos, I would say that this is where the S22 Ultra performed at its best. Like right here, you can see that the night mode photos didn't give off any graininess, the colors were accurate, and my skin tone didn't make me look much lighter, which made me want to take more selfies. And the last environment that I wanted to cover when it came to pictures on the S22 Ultra was the inside nighttime photos. And when we look at them, you can see that there was some graininess, the quality wasn't as great, and it really struggled when there was little to no lighting. But once I turned the lights on, the quality got much better, the sharpness was still great, and the colors were very accurate, which definitely redeemed the camera overall. And when it came to video quality, the S22 Ultra was one of the best that the smartphone community had to offer. And to give you guys an example, here are some 8K videos that I took on it. And there it is, you guys, my review on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now, let me know down in the comments. Do you guys think that the S22 Ultra will go down as the best phone in 2022? Let me know. And if you guys made it to the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you for sticking around. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. It'll be very appreciated. And as far as social media, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.